Windsor Spitfires are proud to select Jack Nesbitt from Lampton Sting. Yeah, I know Jack was a kid we, we get to see a lot here down on the Alliance. Uh, he was playing with Sarnia Lampton Shores there uh, with the Sting. And every game we watched, he just, uh, he stood out. Obviously, they weren't an elite hockey club. They were a good team. And uh, Jack, regardless of the score and uh, regardless of uh, who he was playing with, seemed to be able to just compete and uh, outperform, uh, you know, not only his teammates, but his opponents and uh, just the consistency and obviously the size and the frame of the young man. We see a ton of potential. I think he's responsible all over the rink. And as you mentioned, whether it be for Team Ontario or his own hockey club, um, I think our coaches will find uh, t ice time for him because he is a responsible player. Uh, young players coming into our league, sometimes uh, it takes them a while. Uh, there's no timeline on Jack, but um, just watching, uh, you know, the responsible play uh, with and without the puck. Yeah, obviously we were didn't have a lot of picks there the, the next couple of rounds, so uh, we were kind of targeting a defense, but we would like one, and the fact that Manzo was still there, this was uh, huge for us. We think we've got somebody that can play in our league. Uh, in the fifth round, it's, uh, it's always a challenge, but we're real confident that Adrian will step in. Great uh, kid on and off the ice, you know, a real loyal kid, played with the Vaughn Kings since day one through his whole minor hockey. Had an amazing OHL Cup. Uh, but again, just throughout the whole season, our scouts, uh, he was one of the young men that, you know, we thought we could, might be gone a little earlier. So the fact that he was still there, again, a guy that I think can play in all situations uh, in due time. Uh, we think we got a good one there. And like I said, the against, the peer, against his peers and um, during the OHL Cup, against some high-end talent, high-end hockey clubs, uh, you know, I really believe he separated himself and uh, we're excited to have uh, Adrian part of the club. Again, we, we were looking, you know, we, we need some depth there on defense and similar to you, you brought up the point. And again, he's playing in the finals and playing a huge role for that hockey club. And again, if you can do it against your peers at the, you know, at the biggest times, we think eventually this kid is an OHLer. Uh, and a good one for that matter. So the size, the frame, uh, whether or not he's a shutdown role is how eventually he'll, this will play out. That'll be up to him. We see a ton of potential, uh, unfinished product. But again, there's a bit of a bite there too. Um, not many guys like going down his side. Uh, anytime there was anything near the front of the net, uh, Michael seemed to, to control the play there. And if you're playing on the championship hockey club at your level and uh, again, against the, the competition that's all going to be showing up in our league and you're excelling. We think uh, Mike sitting in the sixth round was a, was a real good pick for our team. And time will tell, but as mentioned with Adrian, we see two young men here, 207 birth years, that will be uh, holding that back blue line for us uh, for years to come. Complete player, um, you know, high-end, high-end hockey club, that little Caesars team. And uh, a player like Easton, he can play in any situation with any players in any position for that matter. Uh, over 100 points in your minor midget year, that's that's significant, that's huge. And, um, you know, he's a kid we've, we've liked since day one and we're hoping he's a Spitfire too one day, but, uh, you know, good players have a lot of options. So, uh, Pacer there with what he's accomplished with that group and uh, the coaches over there, we think this is a, a ready player, a guy that can step into the OHL immediately. So time will tell on Easton. Again, all coaches, GM, sorry, and scouting staff, think they have sleepers or kids that you know can find a way and you know with Michael here he physically the skating and uh, just the size of the man I that's an OHL player in my opinion in in a year or two so we just got to watch his development um, and again like uh, for, for that Mississauga team he was a, a consistent performer that just catches your eye every game and as you mentioned when players are playing in the OHL Cup and whatnot uh, to see him play against other elite players and kids that were selected in the first round um, and he's playing right beside them uh, and contributing or defending and skating as well as them uh, I think there's upside here and I think it, it could be a, a player that uh, you might see in a Spitfire jersey. We liked our draft as mentioned we added a, a few players that we had to uh, you know give up a, a few picks to 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 acquire some key players for our, for our run last year. So um, with the limited picks we did have, we think we've got uh, every position covered and uh, some good hard work and some good development. We think there's OHL players in that, in that draft class.